Welcome to another edition of Screens Off. This week, we're going to talk about making a swing. Being that most of the parks are closed and uh, we can't play on playground equipment, I thought it would be kind of fun to show you guys how to tie up your own swing. So maybe you can swing and play in your front yard or your backyard on a tree, or maybe you can tie one up to uh, the arch over a gate and have a way to play outside. Now, in order to tie your own swing, it's basically a practice of knots. Um, so I have here a stick that I use, and we're going to imagine that this is our imaginary branch that we are making our swing on. Um, so first of all, I'd recommend you find some sort of stick so that you can practice your knots so that when you are ready to put up a swing on, on a tree branch, um, you know what to do. I have here some rope I'm going to use to make the swing eventually. Um, this stuff is polypropylene rope. It is fantastic rope for making swings because it is uh, UV and water resistant, so it resists the light, it resists sun damage as well as water damage. It doesn't get moldy or anything like that, stays strong. The only uh, real big downside to polypropylene rope is that the ends fray quite a bit. You actually have to melt them in order for it to uh, keep from fraying. And usually you do that by using a lighter and melting it a little bit. And that definitely requires some adult help in order to do that. But you don't necessarily have to use, pro use polypropylene rope. There's tons of rope out there. And even if you don't have rope to make a swing, you can still practice tying knots. I have here some twine. Twine is super cheap. A lot of people have it for gardening and things like that. You can practice tying knots with twine. You can practice tying knots with ribbon. You can practice tying knots with shoelaces. I'd also recommend uh, practicing all sorts of knots, as many as you can, because they are useful in all sorts of situations, a wide variety of situations. Um, I'm going to link to a, a wonderful site that I found that's an uh, animated knot tying website. It lets you go forward and backwards in the knot tying process step by step. It does all the popular knots, all the scout knots and the fishing knots and the camping knots, climbing knots and boat knots, all sorts of purposes to the knots and this is a great way to practice how to tie knots and how to learn how to do useful things with rope, aside from just making swings. So the knot we are going to do today is called a round over and two half hitch. Um, there's a few knots that you can do that are good for swings, uh, but this is one that's good for supporting a lot of weight. So what we have here is our branch. We're going to imagine that this is our tree branch hanging. We're going to take the rope, we're going to throw it over and wrap it around once, just like that. So we have our rope looking just like that. Next up, we're going to do, we're going to take a loose end, we're going to go under and through, and we're going to pull it through. There we go. So we have our turn, we took our loose end here, and we went under and through, and we're going to do that one more time. It's getting a little on me. We're going to go under and through again. So it looks kind of like a pretzel on the bottom there. So we have our loop around the branch, and then we make this nice little pretzel on the bottom. We hold it nice and tight and pull. I have to pull a little bit on both ends. There we go. Now we get it on there nice and snug. Like I said, this is a good one for weight, just so long as you make sure that you have the loose end sticking out. You can pull quite hard on this end and it's not going anywhere. You can see it's nice and sturdy, just like that. Uh, great part about this knot, it's fairly easy to take it off. So if you want to make just a temporary swing, you want to take it down real quick, it's off again. So then what you got to do, you got to use the other end of your rope and you can just tie a knot and you know, just tie a bunch of really simple half knots at the end to make a great big lump and you can you know pinch your feet on there and use that as a swing or you could put like a board drill a hole through a board put it on there and tie a bunch of half knots to hold it on nice and tight and use that as a swing or you can make two of these it's so all sorts of options with making a tree swing That's it for this week, so go out there, practice your knots, try making a swing, and have fun playing outside. See you next week.